Hi, my name is Sarah Jaquette Ray, and I'm an Associate Professor of Environmental Studies at Humboldt State University in Arcata, California. I'm also the author of a book that just came out for college-aged people called A Field Guide to Climate Anxiety, How to Keep Your Cool on a Warming Planet. In that book, I wanted to think about the emotional hidden curriculum of what I was teaching and to use research to understand what kinds of emotional outcomes we should be teaching toward. So the first main insight that I want to share is that the ways that most people teach about climate change are in the negative frame, similar to the way that most media represents climate change. The negative frame creates a lot of problems. For one, the emotions it creates, fear, guilt, anxiety, turn out to not be effective for long-term engagement or long-term behavioral change. Since we are already inclined to a negativity bias in our brains, it compounds the sense that the world we're living in is a really dangerous place. It also fuels our sense that we can't do anything to fix the problems. Living in a story of apocalypse is therefore self-fulfilling. Fear of the future dulls our ability to do something. Surrounding, our stories and surrounding ourselves in stories of people doing great work is vital for engaging the kinds of emotions that are needed for students to survive the Anthropocene. Students shouldn't be just learning how bad things are. They need to be studying how all of the ways that people are doing things to improve life. Another reason we need to surround ourselves in a different story is because it makes us feel less alone. This leads me to my second insight I would like to share, which is to prioritize community building among students in the class. Especially in the US where individualism is so prized, community building is um, the best thing that we can do as teachers is to show our interconnectedness with each other and with the non-human world. What would it take to make relationship building our primary learning outcome? How can we design our courses around the objective of building community among students and between students and other communities, including the more than human world? Both of these insights are all the more urgent in a time of coronavirus when isolation is extreme. All the more reason that we need to find ways to build that in though, because many of us will be teaching an online in the fall at least. Students' isolation will be even worse than before, yet their need for connection even greater. My strategy will be to focus almost entirely on exploring creative ways to connect, build trust, and of course, dive into the grief of all of the ways that we have severed our connections, which is, of course, how we got into this crisis in the first place. Thank you.